top professional sports organizations, including the NBA, NHL, NASCAR, PGA, and the Association of Tennis Professionals, have rules covering inappropriate or criminal behavior. However, current rules don't address domestic violence outside of the game. Creating clear and consistent policies and providing support services are what the leagues should do. All sport leagues should be proactive rather than reactive in dealing with abuse, drugs, driving them to the influence, and other crimes. Oh, and let the players know that the rules and support do exist. I'm Dave Ferguson of BeyondTheCheers.com, and this has been a Beyond the Cheers moment. Coast to coast, to border to border. We're going to go to uh, Josie Milner and uh, play a little bit more of her music. Also talk to her about uh, about her music. Uh, we're going to take a quick break here, and uh, let's tell you about one of our fantastic marketing partners here on the big broadcast. Josie Milner with us today. Now, now, Josie, you, you've got some great music out there. We've been playing some of it throughout the uh, radio and TV program here. Uh, t- tell us a little bit about uh, some of your goals and some of your dreams. Yeah, you know, I think with anyone being in the kids' music industry, you know, you just kind of want to take it as far as you can. And that's what I want to do, at least. And, you know, for me, that would consist of, say, doing a national headlining tour, if not an international headlining tour, if not my own tour, then at least being on, on tour with someone else. And, you know, also being able to have my music played, you know, on the radios all over, and just kind of be a well-established common name in the country music industry, of course, is where I want to go with this. Now, as far as, you know, kind of short-term goal, you know, that we have coming up, we are working on my next single. We've ho- we've been hoping to have it out by now, but we've hit quite a few bumps in the road for this one. So um, that's what we're really trying to work on right now, just getting my next single out there. And then we're also working on an EP as well. So we're hoping that out in the coming year. Um, and, you know, on that, my producer and I are actually probably yeah. going to be writing the last song on that EP, so some songwriting in the future as well. So... I got a few things, a few short-term goals. So, well, we've got the song "Not Pretty Enough." Uh, tell us a little bit about this song. Yes, um, "Not Pretty Enough" was a song that my manager Michael actually found. He was watching a horror movie, which is really weird to think about. Um, but you know, he sent it over to me. He's like, "Hey, what do you think of this song?" And I love the song. I love what it stood for, what it represented, and, and you know, just really the strong message behind it. And so we went in, we worked in the studio, the same team that I worked my, with Cowgirls with. And the final product of that of Not Free Enough was absolutely wonderful. And with the release of that song, I actually became a spokesperson for Angels and Doves, which is a national anti-bullying organization that goes around and talks to schools about bullying. You know, they just kind of really tell you how to handle the situation, what to say, who to get involved. You know, just kind of everything you really need to know about it. So, you know, this song, I think, is definitely extremely powerful for October because October is anti-bullying month. So, uh, you know, this song has kind of been one that we've kind of seen people have been kind of paying attention to this month. But, you know, it's my first single release, and this song has done so many great things for me, and I'm definitely really proud of this one. Well, here we go. It's not pretty enough. It's Jolzy Milner here on the World Famous Chicky Chaguire radio program and television program here on the Starcom Television Network. <laughs> 